So in a previous video, we already demonstrated uh, VCN peering on a local basis. So this is VCNs within the same region and tenancy. However, we can also uh, peer VCNs remotely as well across different regions. So resources can communicate with each other using private IP addresses without routing the traffic over the web or through an on-premise network. So this is really uh, obviously convenient and and hide it much more secure and performant than going over the web. And without peering like this, each VCN would need, would need an internet gateway and public IPs for the instances to communicate. So in the diagram here we have the DRG is a dynamic routing gateway, RPC is a remote peering connection, and we also also have the VCN virtual cloud network. So we'll set us to set this up on the console to see what it looks like. The first region we're going to set up is Ashburn. And we just go to the console and navigate to the region we want. And if we navigate to networking and VCNs, we can set this up from here. So we go create VCN. And we go to defaults otherwise and just hit create VCN. So we'll set up a few resources manually. So if we go to Internet Gateway first of all, and we can just give this any name. And just hit create. So if we go to the route tables, we're going to add an additional rule to the default route table. So if we go to edit route, edit route rules, and this is add route rules. In this case, the target type is internet gateway, and we only have one to choose from the drop down, the one we just created. The destination seeder is the open internet, and just hit save. So next we'll create a subnet as follows, just navigate to the subnets. Um, in the console. So we give it a name subnet ash. In this case we're going to choose a regional subnet type. So this is a really powerful feature where a subnet can span an entire region and it opens up all sorts of possibilities like private IPs um, failing over within a region and it makes life a lot easier to set up HA architectures and it's in uh, limited availability at the moment but this feature will be available soon. So just to choose public subnet, default route table, default security list and DHCP options and just hit create. So if we now navigate to the compute uh, page on the console, we'll just launch a standard Oracle Linux instance. Again, I've just gone with the defaults here. It's call it Ashburn AD1. And we've chosen a standard Oracle Linux instance. It's a VM, the minimum shape. And we're just going to the, with the, the defaults here. We we'll paste in a public SSH key. We'll connect with the private key later. And it's in a um, compartment we have here. And the VCN we created and the public, which is the subnet we just created, which is a regional one. So just hit create. So VMs provisioned very quickly on OCI, but in the meantime, we'll just create a, a dynamic routing gateway. So if we navigate to networking on the console and just choose DRGs and we'll create one from here. I'll just give it a name that makes sense, DRG Ashburn, and then create DRG. So a dynamic routing gateway is a standalone object and it needs to be attached to a VCN or virtual cloud network to have traffic routed towards it. So if we click on the DRG we just created, you'll see the VCNs is empty at the moment. So I just click on that and we can attach this to a VCN. In this case, it's a child compartment within the root compartment and leave root table empty for now and hit attach. And so next we're going to set up the same resources basically in a second region. And this region is going to be Phoenix and it's just going to have a different VCN uh, cedar block. So we can go to the console, just change to Phoenix and we can run through the same steps again. So I've set up everything pretty much the same in Phoenix and in Ashburn. The only difference is there are two different cedar blocks. So there are two different VCNs in different regions. Now we need to set up the connection between the two DRGs. So back on our console, if we navigate back to Ashburn, the first region we created, and navigate to the DRGs, the dynamic routing gateway, and click into that. If we click on the RPC section or the remote peering connections, we just select create RPC and give it a name so you can call this anything, but you can call it towards Phoenix or something. That's in the compartment, the same compartment. 
So take note of the O's that we'll need this to establish the connection. We can see the status is just new at the moment. It's not set up or it's not connected yet. So the O's that is the Oracle Cloud ID and just copy that in the console. So next we'll navigate to Phoenix, our second region. And similarly, we'll go to the DRGs page and click into the Phoenix DRG and we'll go to RPC again and create remote peering. So we've got to call this something like towards um, Ashburn and hit create RPC. So if we click into this RPC, RPC the remote peering connection, this time we'll choose establish connection. And in this case, we're choosing region is the source region is Ashburn and we give it the OPC the OSID we just copied from the console earlier and it established connection. So the status is initially pending. In the meantime we'll just navigate to Ashburn again and we need to update the security lists and route tables of each of each VCN in each region. So the traffic meant for each VCN is routed over the DRG. So just go to and the VCNs and security lists. We can go to route tables first actually and edit the default route table. The target type is the DRG. Choose that from the list here. And there's only one we can choose from, it's the DRG in Ashburn. The destination cedar block is the cedar block of the second region here, which is Phoenix. And then it's the same compartment as before. So next, navigate to security list and edit the default security list. So we want to add an ingress rule to allow traffic from the cedar block in in um, in the second region, which was Phoenix in this case. And then just hit save security list rules. We do pretty much the same in Phoenix. Then just navigate to the same sections and update the similar rules. So if we navigate back to our RPC section, we can see the status has now appeared. So both of these VCNs across different regions, Ashburn and Phoenix, are appeared. So we can test the connectivity by SSHing into both instances. And so from the const compute uh, section of the console, we can get the public IP and the private IP of each instance. Uh, we can see that here. And so we can connect to the Phoenix region with this command. And similarly, we can connect to Ashburn and the other and the other terminal window. So if we ping Ashburn from Phoenix, we're pinging the private IP. So we should have connectivity here. And likewise, we can do the same from Ashburn. We can ping Phoenix with the private IP now that we've set peering. Peering is established. 